discussion. As you can see, Miss Erica is ready with the tennis shoes, honey. Let's run. Now, we're <laughs> starting with something to celebrate about. Sydney McLaughlin sets the world record. Does anybody have anything to say real quick? Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. 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 congratulations, Sydney. And then now, I don't know if we're saying congratulations to this, but Bill Cosby to walk free after the court overturns his <laughs> sexual assault accusations. I don't know about this one, but is it a congratulations? Is it we are happy he's out? Because you know, Bill Cosby was the American dad, but yeah. are we happy about this one? In my opinion, I am. And I'm going to stick to <laughs> what I believe, you know, mm -hmm. he did not have a due process. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Supreme Court mm -hmm. of Pennsylvania decided to, now they didn't announce his guilt or not guilty, but mm -hmm. they were just saying that he didn't have the right to exercise his Fifth Amendment. Mm -hmm. And that is an amendment supposed to be for all of us. So that man is in his 80s. There mm -hmm. are more people that have done more than this. So when he was in convicted in 2018, I was a person that I had a little issue with it because I don't know why you want to bring up something that happened 20 mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. you know, what happened in your life. And listen, I advocate for women. Mm -hmm. I do think that, you know, sexual victims and all this stuff is a really big deal. But I'm glad that the man is free. He was going blind and he has lost a lot of weight. And they say, you know what? Release him immediately. So yesterday he was free and I'm mm -hmm. glad his team did not give up on him, mm -hmm. on what they were doing. So congratulations, Mr. Kazi, because, you know, I adored you when I was younger. You gave us a lot of hope as black mm -hmm. young children, and now he's free. Mm -hmm. So the victims, hey, if they have to do what they have to do, but he's mm -hmm. free now. So, yeah. I, you know, um, I, I'm so mixed on it because, yes, he deserves to be free if he didn't get due process. Mm -hmm. However, it's a slap in the face to the victim. Sixty women came forward. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say today whether they were telling the mm -hmm. truth or they weren't telling the truth. But I have to think about how they're feeling also. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be different for me if he was let go because he was found innocent if the trial was tampered with in some way. But because of due process, he's free. So my heart really goes out to the women, mm -hmm. to all the sexual violence women, those that mm -hmm. are being abused, those that are in this situation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you stop talking. It doesn't mean that you stop speaking your truth. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you stop defending yourself. Mm -hmm. You still have to do that, because this was just a technicality at the end of the day. But you have to defend yourself when it happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, like at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we have to think about th these actions accusations were brought up 30 years later. If you can remember details from 30, 30 years, years ago, ago, you got a real issue, honey. Like, seriously, there's a big problem when people feel like they're entitled to getting all of this you know, they, they felt like they, they needed to get it off their chest and they needed to come forward now, 30 years later. Mm -hmm. I say it's a big mm -hmm. congratulations for him because he was America's dad. And to some degree, he still is. And the way that they villainized his character, the mm -hmm. way that they just desecrated everything that Bill Cosby Had built worked for. Mm -hmm. and worked for, for, mm -hmm. for so many people who didn't have fathers in their home, he gave a yeah. lot of us <laughs> hope. He gave mm -hmm. a lot of us someone to... Uh, not idolized, but, look, look but to, we were sure. able to look up yeah. to not only him and the character of, of, of Cliff Huxtable, but I just, I, I find it interesting that women who knew that, uh, that this was a, 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 a popular actor at the mm -hmm. time, he was also married. Everybody knew that. That's mm -hmm. right. So and what you going to some married. man's hotel room right. for? You going to bake cookies? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> they knew what they were going in there for. Mm -hmm. and, and there's no excuse for drugging anyone, especially right. without them knowing it. But I know Janice Dickinson was a party chick. She still is a party chick. Mm -hmm. And she was one of the first ones to come out talking about what he did to her. Mm -hmm. I just feel I, like I just all of this is really a farce. Quick, mm -hmm. Kaya. I do want to say this. The only thing I want to address is some women take a long time to come out. Sometimes it's not that easy. The, no, no, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying that it's right. 
30 years is a long time. Oh but someone, God. it's just like a fire. It takes one person to light that match. Mm -hmm. We don't know if it gave everybody else a voice. Sometimes it takes mm -hmm. one person mm -hmm. for everyone else to say, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. she had the courage to come forth. Mm -hmm. Let me come forth tr also. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it's right, but we can't put a time on someone's truth. Mm -hmm. It can be today, it could be a hundred years, mm -hmm. but if it's their truth and they went through therapy, sexual abuse is it, it's not something to play with. Mm -hmm. It's not something to take lightly. But don't go to so somebody's yeah. hotel room. I'm not saying, don't but go to someone's young, hotel room. Don't get used to it. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Don't go to somebody's hotel room and think that you're gonna go and just sit and talk about what you're gonna play. Get out of here. It's not nice. right. It's not nice. 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 It's not he wants something from you, and you are giving it to him. Now, there are no meetings at hotel rooms after 12 midnight, but we'll continue this behind the scenes. <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> authorities arrest Biafran leader Nandi Kano. This is, I think, should I say congratulations to the president for arresting him? Because, you know, we've always yeah, known baby. that in Nigeria there are three tribes. You know, and mm -hmm. the most popular ones, of course, are the Ibus and the Yorubas. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. been a fight since the 1960s of so mm -hmm. who is better than who or who does. So for them, a risk, because you are preaching a wrong message. Tribalism is real. So you've gone and started this whole little, I call it a gang. You know, mm -hmm. and you guys are just living with your, you are indoctrinating people to feel like they're better than the other tribe or your tribe. So this for me is congratulations to Nigeria for the first time the president is doing something. And actually oh. arresting somebody who yes. is inciting mm -hmm. all of this, mm -hmm. um, really this international warfare yeah. between... Mm -hmm the people of their country. So yes. Namdi is apparently, he, he created the IPOB, the mm -hmm. Indigenous People mm -hmm. of Biafra, and he wants to create this independent state for the Eastern region people. Mm -hmm. And so with that, um, he, he's done all the things. Of course, he's been, um, he's charged for unlawful possession of firearms, management of unlawful society. Mm -hmm. um, he was brought back to Nigeria on Sunday mm -hmm. and he's facing treasonable felony charges mm -hmm. at the federal high court in mm -hmm. Abuja. So mm -hmm. yeah, good luck to, good luck to him what and his followers mm -hmm. because, you know, I mean, but the sad thing, though, is you arrest this man. I know what he's trying to do, but you have failed to arrest Boko Haram. You have failed mm -hmm. to do anything with Boko Haram. I, that's where I have a problem here. So you're having a certain group of people who are threatening democracy, who are putting your people under siege, I should say, because people mm -hmm. are leaving afraid. Girls are going missing. So, mm. yes, this is congratulations. You captured this man, but... In Africa, tribalism is a very common thing. Is mm -hmm. it right? No, it's not right. You know, of course, mm -hmm. I don't support that. But Boko Haram is doing more damage to Nigeria mm -hmm. than this man mm -hmm. is. I mean, mm -hmm. that's my opinion. That's my two cents. There's so don't many of it. this yeah. man <laughs> that exists. And so why they just decided that this was the, the one, the to, one that to, yeah. to go on the cross with. Exactly. I mean, it's good. At least they did. But I think that they could be doing a lot more. They can do a lot more better, and they can do that to people who are actually causing more harm to their country than what they're doing, because a lot are doing that in Nigeria. Up next mm -hmm. is What's Brewing. Stay tuned. It's in spite of COVID, Culture Night brought us the best performances, with Cardi B revealing her pregnancy to the world and Lil Nas kissing his male performer. But now there's a tweeter going around and tweeter is not having it. So real quick, I'll read the tweet. And this is from Ernest Owens. Asking Lil Nas X to educate the youth on HIV because he kissed another man on stage is perhaps one of the most homophobic celebrity demands I've heard in a minute. 
Nobody's <laughs> asking Nick Cannon to do a lecture on the importance of condom usage and child rearing, but now this. <laughs> Come on. Uh. <laughs> Can we laugh? Uh, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I think it's pretty ridiculous that people would say this. A lot of backlash has happened since Sunday's performance, and he, I thought it was a, I thought it was a good performance as as far as entertainment value goes. He did um, a, a nostalgic "Remember the Time" by Michael Jackson. That was kind of the the tone and the theme of uh, his performance. And at the end, he shared a kiss with his male dancer. And, you know, he has been standing on the platform of he is a part of the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. He accepts himself. He embraces himself. Mm -hmm. And so he wants the world to do the same thing. Um, there are several people who took to Twitter who embraced it and they really appreciated it. Mm -hmm. And then there were people who had a lot more to say on the opposite side. And so now there is this homophobic, transphobic backlash that's kind of going on oh, in the again. internet, mm -hmm. right, on the internet. And I mean, so another thing that happened, Madonna posted a picture of her and Britney Spears they and, did and wrote, hashtag mm -hmm. did it first. And so people are going after Madonna, mm -hmm. even though Lil Nas X came back and said, well, she and I are friends and it was just a joke, chill out. Mm -hmm. But that was, that was after the fact because everybody went against Madonna for saying that. Mm -hmm. So it's just a lot going And nobody on. liked it when she did it either. They didn't. People didn't like it. And they're yeah, calling so her queer baiting and they're saying that, you know, she was just like kind of either. using the fantasy of a lesbian, you know, the, the lesbian mm -hmm. fantasy I as a part that. of her performance mm -hmm. as she opposed to making of, it She got genuine. a lot of backlash from when that, that too. Yeah, she did. When she did that. So mm -hmm. I'm with you with this. I mean, we already talked about him when we were talking about style check and he, mm -hmm. he's doing the most. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> chill, young man. Everybody know that you're gay. This yeah. is what you want to do. You want the whole world to know that, young man, we know that you're gay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're glad that you're living your truth. Mm -hmm. But you're just going too... It's, to me, I just mm -hmm. think he's just doing the mm -hmm. most. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to kiss a guy, that's fine. It's your performance. But mm -hmm. you, gotta, you want to just say, oh, this is who I am. We got it. Mm -hmm. You gay. Lil Nas, we accept you like you are. Lil Nas X. But I would mm -hmm. even say, as someone who's been around, I've been around like, the chill, gay community bro. for a very long time, and I've talked to a couple of my friends about it who are like, yeah, he's just doing the, he's trying to be the gayest. And so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how much more gay can you be? Like, and we understand and we appreciate and we're with you and we're going to fight. That. But, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, we got it. And nobody's, it's mm -hmm. like, he has to understand nobody's tearing him down mm -hmm. because that's his truth. And exactly. We need to res and we need to respect that as people, even as believe, whatever you believe or don't believe, mm -hmm. respect that young man. That's who he mm -hmm. is. It's well, like, he's yeah. just doing the most. Mm -hmm. I ain't never heard that. The Shock gay value. Is. <laughs> well, little man, we accepted you, honey, already. You are trying to be what Erica said, so I won't repeat it. But let's move on to Tabitha <laughs> Brown. Gayest. Tabitha Brown, for years, she spoke it into existence, and she said, when I make it, honey, I'm going to retire you. And guess what? 15 years later, she has retired. Her husband was in the LAPD. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for her. Now, you know, Kaya, you know I got to get you, girl. She was. And that accent, honey. They talk about me all the time. Where's her name talking? is Tabitha. Tabitha. Whatever her name you is. You say Tibitha. Tibitha. She, <laughs> she was just messing with you on purpose. I know, I mean, listen, she, 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 don't she, let her Katrina do it. Katrina like, likes my accent. I, I, I have to talk. If I'm talk, to talk to her while she's sleeping, that would be like a lot of bad thing. Because a lot of people say that I, I put them to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, it keeps us going. Tibitha. Listen. Okay, Miss Tibby the Brown. <laughs> Tibby the Brown. Miss Tibby the Brown. Yes. Miss Tibby the Brown is from Eden, North Carolina. <laughs> She's from a small town. And listen, this lady has made her way. Mm -hmm. I commend her. Mm -hmm. She wrote down five years ago that she wanted to retire her husband. Mm -hmm. She has done it. She is on the shy. She has a Vogue column. Mm -hmm. She blew up on TikTok in 2017. Mm -hmm. Talk about, um, she, she, oh, well, let me see. Let me make sure mm -hmm. I get her, look, her quotes right. Mm. She said, that's your business, which she uh -huh. trademarked, <laughs> which is good, and like so, like that. She said, mm -hmm. just like that. Like so, like that. You know, put the little salt in the pepper, <laughs> like so, like that. <laughs> and she 
she's a vegan. I love her. She's I do a comedian. Too. She's a well, comedian. Well, we see. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's cute yeah. as pie. Yeah. Like, she's like listen, mm -hmm. and her hair, I live for. Mm -hmm. But like, so like that, mm -hmm. she just bought a $2 million home in L.A. Wow. And she just retired her husband, mm -hmm. Chance, and he's mm -hmm. been in LAPD for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So I say congratulations, young lady. Mm -hmm. Like, so like that, uh -huh. y'all know who tapped the And you know what, he was, <laughs> <laughs> he was already that. working with her in the background. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I love that, background. that, yeah, because mm -hmm. he's been there from day mm -hmm. one, especially That's, when she absolutely. started. Remember when she started with her daughter also, and they started opening different packages from mm -hmm. different people? Mm -hmm. So it's a whole whole family affair. So I'm really happy for her. And all of this from eating a sandwich in the car. Do you guys remember that video? Yeah. Mm. This is amazing. From Whole Foods in yes. 2017. Yes. And that video went viral. Mm -hmm. So that goes to show no matter what you feel, whether you feel it's something stupid mm -hmm. or silly, if it's yours, do it. Look mm -hmm. at her now. She mm -hmm. is owning an empire mm. and it's growing. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy for her. And I want to give this quote that mm -hmm. we all should live by. I hope it's she so said, like so like that. Like so like that? Like don't so worry, like you that. can't say it like me. <laughs> she said, our life is our business. And if you don't treat your life like a business, you're going to go out of business. That's good. Wow. Like so like that? Listen, girl, we love you over here, Tabitha. Well, listen, That's don't try good. don't try to eat a sandwich in the car. It's been done already. You try your own thing that'll go viral. <laughs> Now, young Ma takes herself into rehab. She said it, her prayer was so amazing. Oh, please yes. read that. I got, yeah, okay. Oh, that I have the prayer here, and it touched my heart. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Loving God, I pray that you will comfort me in my suffering. Lend mm. skill to the hands of my healers and bless the means used for my care. Here. Give me such confidence in the power of your grace that even when I'm a I may put my whole trust in you. Mm. I think in spite of what she's mm. going mm -hmm. through, anybody can use this prayer mm -hmm. in, in our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. it, it really touched my heart. Well, you know, they've never mm -hmm. said what she's dealing with. They don't mm -hmm. know what drug she's, you know, abusing. Right. But just her recognizing that mm -hmm. I need help mm -hmm. and checking herself. Mm -hmm. Because it takes you, the addict, to say enough is enough yeah. and I'm mm -hmm. going to change. Not anybody change you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am definitely, I do like Young Ma. Um, I actually follow her, believe it or not. But what I love about it the most is she did it on IG. Some people will say, you know, don't put your whole business out there. But she did it in front of her fans, which is really a young group. But for her to say and recognize out publicly, I need help. Mm -hmm. And she's going to get the help. And you're right. She didn't say that she was actually going to what she was going in for. But the fact that she's going in for anything at all says a lot. So... M.A., Young Ma, like, we are praying for you. We hope that you get better. She even said she's not sure if she's going to come back mm -hmm. to social media. So mm -hmm. she's she's taking her healing what song did she really, sing? really seriously. Really what song seriously. Did she sing? Really seriously. Oh, Young Ma, she's a rapper. Oh, I don't, yeah. I, I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, she's a rapper. <laughs> I know. I don't know yeah. any of the songs. Mm -hmm. You just have to know it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. 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 See, yeah. see you, you guys are the young generation. So she I, said it's... Young M.A.? That's yes, how you say Young M.A. Yes. But I like calling But we young call her Young Ma. Yeah, yeah that's, but that's it's Young M.A. I, like I have to say that prayer, yeah. that prayer was probably, um, young Ma. that was like her tapping into her divine feminine in mm -hmm. a different way. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 that may be a new reckoning for, a lot of the, yeah. you know, as an artist, yeah. as a person, mm -hmm. um, going into rehab definitely is a very serious mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, taking the ownership of like like Katrina was just saying, taking the ownership of her personal business mm -hmm. and making sure she doesn't go out of business. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I just I find that really refreshing, and I'm I appreciate that she was willing to be vulnerable and share mm -hmm. that with her community and with the world. That that was a beautiful prayer. Yeah, that was. Wait, I'm gonna. It, do that. It, yeah. I wish we could it, take it apart. It, it I wish we had yeah. time to mm -hmm. take it apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it touched yeah. me too because I thought that it was really good for her. Because I think um, mm -hmm. in 2019 or somewhere in time, she was saying people were talking about drugs on her IG. She was mm -hmm. like, no, I don't do drugs. Y'all can't be talking about that. But now she admitted that she has. And you can never help an addict mm -hmm. until they want to help themselves. But if she didn't say drugs. Period. She, she didn't say drugs. She drinks a lot. She's no, no, she's, for alcohol. people were saying that she was oh, on drugs. Yeah, she was like, don't yeah, talk about that. Yeah, but obviously she was. If she, Well, I don't know if she's on drugs, but she yeah. checked herself in the rehab. So young lady, do your thing. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. praying for you, girl.
Yes, we are praying for you. Like so, like that, you are taking care of your personal business, honey. So we are behind you. Up next is Style Check. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Fashion is a part of the daily air. You can even see a revolution approaching in clothes. You can see them. You can feel them. That's why today Katrina is going to take us through these fashion trends and tips. Come on, Katrina, take it away. Alrighty, girl, I'm going to take it away and get right into it because she gave me all the introduction I need. Mm. So, men, how do you wear your wow prints? Some guys a little scared. Don't be scared, fellas. You know, do those wow prints in a cap, a bucket hat, maybe your mm. sunglasses, an old man shirt. You know what I call an old man shirt? You know, what? the ones that button down. <laughs> get your little print in your old man shirt. <laughs> Hey, if you fly enough, you can get away yeah. with your old man shirt and some swim trunks if you want to ease into it. But I say, you know what? Be daring. Mm -hmm. All this stuff that I have behind me, pick one. You don't have to wear leopard if you're too scared now. Because you got to have confident, confident in these prints, my friend. Mm -hmm. But anybody mm -hmm. have anything? I like Just like you wore your suit mm -hmm. yesterday. It was a men's suit. It was a men's suit. Yeah. It was bold. Mm -hmm. You know, but I think it takes a stylist like you who has a fashion eye to mm -hmm. pull something like that because I never thought in a million years I would. Yeah, and they just and cool. you wore, they and just, she wore it well. You wore it that was well. great. Stunning. Mm -hmm. They just run by Stunning. the men's section. I'm looking very well. <laughs> I remember, I remember <laughs> Erica saying, "Are you sure they didn't put it in the wrong <laughs> section because of the way it fit?" It was nice. Well, too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it was a good one. So yeah, so just try it, and I always say, break it up. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wear monochromatic, all the prints. So if you want to start with a top, mm -hmm. it's you're too scared to do the bottoms, that's fine, fellas. Get you some sunglasses or an old man top or your mm -hmm. bucket hat, and you can do that. All right, that's all for that. So, ladies, when you become pregnant, mm -hmm. I know wardrobe is such a hard thing. So let me mm -hmm. tell you some things that you can do. Use what's in your closet currently. Mm -hmm. um, wear, some, wear your workout clothes. And y'all know I'm against wearing workout clothes. But I think you could wear them when you're pregnant. That's the only pass that you're going to get from me outside. Mm -hmm. And I, well, you know what? I can ask you all. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you just had your baby. And your mm -hmm. baby's a little mm -hmm. older. So tell the people some things that you did when, as far as when it came mm -hmm. to your clothing to get you through that stretch. Honey, my bump was dressed up. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, some. Yeah, my Your bump was dressed up. If you worked, dressed you up. worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but I worked and I wore things. I didn't buy maternity for my third child. I wore dresses that are in my closet that mm -hmm. stretch. So, mm -hmm. And I love workout clothes. I wear workout clothes. Current clothes, clothes workout clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she yeah. did that. I, I wore a lot of stretchy dresses that were mm -hmm. just easy to put on and mm -hmm. gave me a little room because I mm -hmm. rubbed my belly as often as possible. We have a very good relationship because I just was rubbing on her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you did your flow. My, my, maybe like and I like flowy stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So. That's one of the things too. And what you should purchase is probably mm -hmm. get a new bra. Mm -hmm. That may help out because your breasts do expand. Mm -hmm. A lot. And that's a good thing. Listen, but they do shrink back. Let me just mm -hmm. forewarn you, ladies. <laughs> they shrink do go back, back down. And smaller do. too. <laughs> some go back too small. Yes. <laughs> and get some comfy underwear and pieces that you can grow with. So mm -hmm. maybe like the last trimester, I would say maybe buy some stretch things. And that's about it. Where would you have? Because, Kaya, you did look great oh, while you. you were pregnant, girl. Oh, I was like, oh, you cute. Yeah. Yes, girl. When she came in every day. I said, okay, yeah, MC she... Squad mama is Had that Bye, you know, dresses and the shoes. <laughs> honey, she was still in the heels. I know that's right. But that's a way for <laughs> you to feel square. better about, you know, if you're having complications yeah. or if you're feeling sick or whatever. Yeah. I felt like dressing up was my mm -hmm. way of showing up for my baby. Oh, yeah. my goodness. You know the picture we should have had today? Mm -hmm. What? We should have had that picture of her and her maternity photo shoot. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know why I didn't even think about it? It's I too know. late now. Because <laughs> that was for the God. It was far. But anyway. Oh, it wasn't <laughs> far. It was far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, That's what we should have had. Oh, my God. I don't know why I didn't think about it. I, I guess I was too tired yesterday. But that's all we have for those fashion tips. So, mm -hmm. fellas, pick a piece here, there to add to get your wild prints and be mm -hmm. confident. Because I don't want you walking around unconfident mm -hmm. in those wild prints because we will see it mm -hmm. a mile away. And, ladies, just take those tips when you're pregnant, wear what you have, and buy some stretchy items. But we're going to mm -hmm. move on to what's trending 
in these streets. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, skunk hair, baby. I don't, you know, this has been out for a while. This is very Khalees. Yes. You know, she's but even this before is not her. New. So yeah. this is not, but we I love that the young generation mm -hmm. go back to see what we did back in the day and bring it back. But yeah. this I do like. But I have a I have a skunk in my head already. I but think, she I, I think uh -huh. I like I'll, I'll, I'm going to try this because my <gasps> hair is that long. I you, like your this, hair is and uh, I like unruly hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you just let me, it, yes. And this to me yeah. was fire. Yeah, it's I love this. About fire, but it's fire. You gonna try Bell color? Austin. But you know what? That's also called. That's also called a birthmark. Sometimes when it's pretty. not purposely highlighted. Oh, and yeah. this one is pretty too. Though. For the ladies that don't, you know, have natural, just have your mm -hmm. curls. Mm -hmm. Do try this. Yeah. I love this look. Yeah. I'm not going to do it, though, because I want my hair to be red all over. But I got a gray patch in the top. But mm -mm. <laughs> I'm keeping my hair red, honey. I ain't trying no skunk or nothing. Mm. But anyway, we're going to go on to Adidas Period Tights. Mm. Now, I think this is wonderful. You need to be able to fill a gap. And they have filled a gap. Because mm -hmm. a lot of young ladies don't even like to play sports because they have that trauma and fear yeah. of when their um, cycle comes mm -hmm. on that something is going to happen. And adults, too. You, mm -hmm. People still have accidents. So this, I do love. I need to get these for myself because I hate to work out when my period is on. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. But What does it do? Adidas so it has a, a, it has a technology inside. You know, you can talk about yeah. it. Katrina, why are you going to get this one? You haven't worked out in six months. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh. What if she wants to start? She got a inspiration. She, 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 she doesn't like and wake up clothes. You won't she's, be distracted. You won't say she doesn't like wake up clothes. Why purchase the period <laughs> one? Because this one is good. Okay. Did she <laughs> just call me an old TV? <laughs> because but I you know, know a lot of people so buy stuff and put it on the shelf. Go to Erica and let her tell you about these pants. I'm mad it. right now. I'm oh, mad right now. Oh, my God. God. Be saying it. Go ahead, Erica. <laughs> That's mad. I feel like I just went to the prison. Uh-huh. You go ahead. Let me I get didn't my stuff together. I didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, these these period tights, um, that's what they're called. They're specifically, the technology um, has a leak barrier, mm -hmm. and so it helps you to be able to perform in your sport without feeling the, the possibility of so do you being wear exposed a pad and having a leak. or you just wear the yes. pants? No. You, yeah, yeah you protect yourself as normal, mm -hmm. but then this, this prevents the leaks from happening yes. as you move. Oh. And, you know, you may yeah, bend that's or whatever. It is protect, one. and we should give the other company uh, <laughs> credit as well. It's called Stay in Play. That's mm. the company that Adidas has uh, partnered Partner with, with okay. to do this new technology to help with leaks. And I hope they give away some free because mm -hmm. a lot of young ladies don't play sports because of this. Honey, so if it's it free, the company is going to go broke. No, you know, they're, and they're this fine. Is, they're this fine. would be good for athletes, especially uh, track and field. Those girls really need this. So mm -hmm. it's it's going to spread. Well, they all oh, need it. Kid. Basketball, yeah. soccer, mm -hmm. volleyball. It, yeah. And they're jumping in the lacrosse. So this mm -hmm. is something that should have been out there a long time ago. But like I said, I am going to start working mm -hmm. out this month. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm going to buy some of these anyway. But we're going to move on. It's bridal season, so we just wanted to highlight a couple of looks. Mm. And the first one, off the shoulder. Oh, this mm. is so beautiful. Mm. Oh, that's stunning. Just seeing this, I would mm. totally do a wedding. I know. Oh, just that's because of this dress. Sense. No, I'm not going to do a wedding stunning. because of this dress. My second time around, I'm not I'm not Ooh. doing that. But no, this dress is beautiful. This is my beautiful. third wedding. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be my yes. dessert, baby. For my dessert, husband. <laughs> I'm the appetizer. Somebody. I'm looking for an entree, but I'm ready for my dessert. <laughs> you make it, baby. I'm wearing that dress. Wherever you With are. With nothing underneath. It's all about the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They are so pretty. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It is and amazing. then the thing with that, too, it doesn't matter what your body shape looks like. It's going to hide it because of the way that it's flattering. So Listen. whether you're small on top, wide. You're going to do this your second time around amazing. if you so decide to get married Listen, again. if I do decide to get Gorgeous. married again because we didn't have a wedding, we decided we didn't need a wedding, it'll be about the dress. And mm -hmm. this one is my what? Entree? Yeah, entree. Okay. <laughs> this dress is Gorgeous. everything. Let me tell you. <laughs> you know when I walk down that aisle... 
I will walk like yeah. <laughs> one step the every hour. Of, and you are going to feel it. <laughs> okay? Not you are every going to hour. feel it. Be sad with this. This is, this is oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. And nice. even the dress as well. Mm. This is a more uh, princess dress. You can't see the bottom of it. Mm. But this is details. just amazing. Mm. And I just wanted to also say you mm. need to check this out. The designer of these is a black designer as wow. well. So I know my daughter will be getting her wedding dress from a black designer. Mm. Yeah, baby. But anyway, that's all I have for Style Chat. These girls were so unruly today. Yes. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back. A magnetic weight loss device just hit the markets. But this one here will help you divorce food for those who have a bad relationship with food because your jaws won't move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, I don't, mm -hmm. listen, mm -hmm. I say it. I, I, I have a good relationship with food. I can go for liquid soap. I don't need the device. <laughs> I'm okay. But imagine for those who love food, you try to open your jaw. <laughs> I don't know what you guys terrible. think about I'm this one. That's scary. You're speechless, right? That's scary. You're speechless about this. Like <clears throat> two Ooh, centimeters, it open up. So that means oh, when I go no. like this, I can down. only drink water. Oh, no. <laughs> What if it locks and you can't open it at all, all day long? <laughs> no, you can get a straw. A straw. We should be laughing at this. Ooh, then you don't careful. have to go to the gym. Oh, my. Yeah. You don't have to go to the gym. This, this is your gym. Listen, this I've gone insane. on crazy yeah, diets. Girl, is, Erica, I've been on crazy diets. I've been on crazy diets. But diet. this here will pass me because I can do liquids. Listen, I can do liquids, but I hate to be out of control of anything in my life. Mm -hmm. So if I cannot open my mouth, <laughs> I think this is the grab. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, but, but here's sorry, what the team say. Real quick, here's what no. the team say. They say. <laughs> So you might as well get locked, y'all. Yeah, I'm telling you. They say, but well, they say something like this was, you know, was there, I think, in the 80s where they will lock your jaws and you, you won't eat whatever. But the team say that the two could be particularly helpful for those having to lose weight before they can undergo surgery for diabetes uh, patients, for uh, mm. those who want to lose oh, weight, okay. uh, that could rem you know initiate remission. Mm -hmm. So for people who are trying to lose weight, I think this would be a great tool for those 600 pound yes. people. Yeah, <laughs> start them to death. Yeah, and it's called Dental Slim Diet Control. Yes, for the 600 pound That's people need this. Slim diet. <laughs> That's scary. 150 pound people may need this. That's scary. scary. I mean, it's all about your mind, mm -hmm. in my it opinion. Is. Going yes, on a yeah. diet is really mental. Yes. You have to be mentally disciplined in order mm -hmm. to say, I'm not going to eat everything that's in front of me, or mm -hmm. I'm not going to go to this drive through or I am going to eat more celery, more vegetables, a period. Like, it's hard to do, but this it is, is on insane. a whole nother level. level. Yeah. It takes discipline. Like, for example, yesterday I wanted some fries so bad. <laughs> And you know, Katrina is my fry partner, so I say, come on, let's go get fries through the drive through But she's on some diet that she's been doing. Oh, I don't know. She, I, I, don't even understand. I don't understand what she's on, because this minute she says she's not eating meat, the next minute she's like, I'm not eating fried foods, the next minute is, <laughs> I'm like, this is too much for me. So anyway, I told her, let's go through the drive through so we can get fries, because we always get fries together. <laughs> Home girl refused. <laughs> She's like, you better get me out of this car. And she was telling her daughter, she was telling her daughter, guys, oh, trying to make me eat some fries. I say, wow, <laughs> this is discipline. But that did not deter me because I wanted the fries. And you got I the still fry. went through oh, the drive through and I got the fries. But I wonder what the <laughs> adverse effect of this is. Like how they have the gastro bypass, and uh -huh. if you eat too much, mm -hmm. you can undo it. So what happens if this goes sideways? Well, so now this you is know, helping the people. This is scary. This is helping the people get ready for that. So some people are so big that right. they can't even have the surgery. So the doctors in New Zealand's like, this is going to help with global obesity. Mm -hmm. So this control... This is going to help with starvation. But they, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes people have to lose almost 100 pounds mm -hmm. yeah. before they can even mm -hmm. do the surgery because yeah. they may die in a surgery anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is going to help. But I mean, all jokes aside, I wouldn't do it. Okay. But I can understand mm -hmm. why this is the happening need. and the need of it because I think you can only really get liquids. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, again, but my, you still have to be in the right mental you do, you do, mind you do, frame to be yeah. able to accept that your mouth is mm-hmm. shut mm-hmm. without you having any control. Like, could you? Mm-hmm. But my, could you my, imagine you, not moving your mouth? Yeah, I know. Well, maybe it's they have just, a, like, I think the scary thing on this for me is you're training people by force to lose the weight. What happens after that mental? Like you said, mental is still the same. At that that to me is it doesn't make any sense they're gonna gain it all. because they're, they're gonna gain it, but not only are they gonna gain it back, they <laughs> end up gaining back a whole lot more. Right. So it's never to that one size. I think you have there has to be some kind of therapeutic first. I think no. And and actually, the, the thing is not a forced mm-hmm. thing. So apparently, you know, just like when you go to dental mm-hmm. office, mm-hmm. you go to the dentist and you tell them what right. procedure you want to be done. So with this one, it's reversible. You can take it off if you don't. Yeah, yeah but what I mean, invasive. but what I mean by force is you're still forcing yourself. This is the same thing as having doing exercise and mm-hmm. saying I'm going on a diet. But when you decide to go on a diet, you make oh. up in your mind long term mm-hmm. and say I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go same ahead. Thing, though. But, but it's the no, same thing because no, you're saying one of the same well, thing. Well, not so much. The, I think it needs to be therapy first. I think people first have to recognize why they're overeating. <laughs> why? Mm-hmm. What is in me that's right. making me put on that weight? Mm-hmm. And also, mm-hmm. it's health issues. So mm-hmm. I think once that decide that factor is decided first, then they can choose the best for but them. For them but for them to get to this, though, forced. that's what I'm trying to tell you. For them mm-hmm. to get to this, though, they've already mm-hmm. made up their mind that I've tried everything mm-hmm. and it's not working. Because there's some people who just cannot separate themselves from food. Right. They have such... It's a toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when they get to this, they've tried everything mm-hmm. and it, it, it has failed. So right. now... It, it, so I, I don't think the doctor is holding you on gunpoint and saying mm-hmm. that you have to do it. So you're not right. forced to do it per se. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're actually going to the doctor and say, listen, I feel like I need everything. help. Yeah, I need right. help. And if More this guy so can help yes. me, then I am going to open my mouth. Got you. To, you know well, what? Well, let I mean? me let me clarify force. Okay, so you go to the doctor, you get your therapy, you decide this is the apparatus that I want to lose weight. You, it's still some type of force because it forces you to intake a certain amount and out. I don't think it's going to teach you on yourself. This is the portion I should eat. This is what I should not eat. This is not. This is what's bad for me. That's why I'm that's disagreeing what I mean with you, though. Because and it's that's not fine. Forced. That's you fine. have left your house by yourself. No mm-hmm. one came and took you to the house or the mm-hmm. dentist. So you left your house. So you had this in mind already. Yeah. So this gadget is for now forced because you you are forcing yourself to get disciplined. Mm-hmm. So because I I don't want to throw force just easily. So you have left your house. You got in your car. Mm-hmm. You went to to the doctor and you right. said, okay, let's try something different because mm-hmm. all the ways have failed. So you have gone to do it by so you yourself. They made a decision better. to do so that. So you made and, the decision mentally, right. to get and there. and that's fine. But I still want to see. And this is me speaking. This is how mm-hmm. I feel about it. I want to see them go t- more towards. Let's identify first. Like you hear so much diet fads. You hear there's so much out there. There's so much mm-hmm. to picture. Gastro, you mm-hmm. name it. But never do I hear a program come out where it says, okay, we're gonna sit down and identify first mentally what's going on. Mm-hmm. Overeating is a mental issue, and some people are medically born that way. There's a medical issue. What I'm saying by force is. First, let's let's see what it is first. Mm-hmm. Let let's 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 deal with here, and then we can deal with here. That okay, might so take a lifetime. Uh, okay. That might take a lifetime to really be able to detect. Medi- uh, no, some people can't help overeating because oh, some okay. obesity like, oh, is hereditary. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about global obesity epidemic mm-hmm. because I think everybody, the whole country is facing it besides Africa because. Well, we do too. The United States has a. The United States is the worst. But what I'm saying about Africa not going through obesity, and that's one thing God has blessed Africa with, is is just because, I mean, well, it depends with where you're from. You just. Overeating is just, you know, when mm-hmm. you see somebody who is on the plus size, it's, it's kind of like not that bad plus size, you know. <laughs> so, and then we uh, kind of like uh, idolize women who are mm-hmm. voluptuous and everything. It's, it's just a, a cultural full figure thing. Woman. Yeah. A full figure like woman. A full figure yes. woman. So, Jamaica too. But yeah. America right now is facing obesity. Uh, mm-hmm. This is a problem. I, I see little kids who are very obese, even mm-hmm. older people. So let's talk about that because this device will drive us crazy because I'm not going to do it. So, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's in New Zealand yeah. and the UK, so I don't see a it's problem. It's coming to America, like Eddie and, they, <laughs> and then that's fine. Because people, have, like you said earlier, people people make a decision mm-hmm. about their lives mm-hmm. and what they want to do. Obesity is mm-hmm. a problem. It's always been a problem, mm-hmm. and I believe it will always be a problem. Mm-hmm. So if I'm having mm-hmm. trouble and I want to make the decision to get this apparatus in my mouth, that yeah. I'm only going to drink fluids, then that's something that I will... I have a decision and I can do it and I can make it. Yeah. It's my choice. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I don't know if if obesity is, um, I don't know if obesity, well, I guess you could say, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's hereditary, but I think it's almost kind of like when you're in a family, you eat certain things. It has, your, it has certain behavior. It's behavior yeah. more than hereditary. Yeah. That means you give your children what you eat. Mm-hmm. And if you see your child is obese and you see that you're obese, then you know mm-hmm. what? You need to change some things. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of programs mm-hmm. out there where you can get a nutritionist for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of programs out there that somebody can help you to change your diet so mm-hmm. you and your children can change their lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. so more than I don't anything, think it's sorry. hereditary. You know what it's I mean? A, I think, there's a, it's a certain, mm-hmm. I'm sorry not to cut mm-hmm. you off. It's a certain gene mm-hmm. that it makes it hard. I don't know. Not all of it. Not all of it. Not all of it. It's, it's something not all of it. It's not. I don't, I'm just saying. I, I don't, I don't agree with that. My because family, obesity is not a disease. I got it's big people. Girl, I got big I people think in more my than family. anything, it's, it's just, it's what you, it's what you know. Yeah. It's what you know. So like growing up for me, you know, I had issues with, okay, this is what my mom decided to cook or what she went to go and get. But this is not going to help me to look good in a swimsuit when I'm in a teen pageant and I need to be fit and fine, but I'm getting what my mom fixed Can, for me. Exactly. So what am I supposed to do? You mm-hmm. know, so it's just a behavioral kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, and you have to be aware. And once you become aware, mm-hmm. then you can make those changes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think that you can make changes for your family. It starts with you, really. Whatever you decide to give your children, they'll follow through because you are the parent. Up next is Girlfriend's Guy. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back. It's a girlfriend's guide, and we have this question for you watching, especially for new moms. Does becoming a new mom mean becoming a nun? <laughs> Erica, I'm sure you and I are new moms here. Well, you it's your first time. I've been a mom, <laughs> third time. You know, what do you think? think of this absolutely not Mm -hmm. for me Mm -hmm. I needed to feel better immediately Mm -hmm. (laughs) so uh, I wasn't prepared to get my c-section I mentioned that before and just learning how to use my body differently and learning how to care for this beautiful wonderful Mm -hmm. but essentially helpless human being Mm -hmm. um, I just had to like really reevaluate a lot of things about myself but one thing I was not giving up on was my fashion, honey. And one thing I'm definitely not giving up on is Hot Girl Summer. Hot Girl Summer <laughs> still exists for moms, for new moms. You absolutely should always. What, what do I say, girls? No matter what you do, get up, dress up, show up, and never give up. So you show up Woo! this summer. You show them that Come belly, on. honey. You show them those thighs. You show ooh, them ooh. all the things. Well, no, cover some of it up. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> what I say? Cover some of it up. But no, I think that, you know, oh, fashion so is, nice. as you state so eloquently, fashion is, you, you know, our way of, of really expressing ourselves. ourselves. It's our way of creativity. Mm-hmm. And I just think that you should be able to, you know, just because you're a mom doesn't mean mm-hmm. that you have to be, you know, in long dresses mm-hmm. and cover things up, you know. My daughter is going to know that... Mama was a fashionista. My mama was a fox. I think with my first <laughs> child, I was almost becoming a nun. I mean, nothing, you know, to nuns or anything. I respect, you know, the choice they choose in life, you know, the path they choose to walk. But I was becoming a nun because I had postpartum depression. Mm. Mm. So here I am, I've given birth to this little amazing human, and I just didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I lost myself, I should say. So I didn't care about what was going on with me until a very good friend of mine, Erica Washington, she used to be Mm -hmm. uh, on the set, Mm. said to me, don't lose yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't lose yourself because you have a child. You know, I didn't care whether the milk Mm -hmm. was on the blouse or whatever. I'm like, I don't (laughs) even know what to do with myself. (laughs) And with that statement alone, I went back home and I said, oh, baby, I want Kaya back. Yes. <laughs> and I said, listen, I brought you into this world, but you are not going to stop my life. That's right. <laughs> and that's, that's the 
day I had my aha uh -huh moment. Yeah. She just, we were driving, I remember, we were driving, going to some complex. We were still at our old studio. She's like, don't lose yourself, baby. That's the so kaya we know is a fashion. That's it. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, I'll wake up breastfeeding. I have lipstick on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing I say, I will not come out of the house without my eyebrows because I got none. <laughs> On with Ooh. tears, honey. You I'm know, breastfeeding and we're gonna cry together, baby. My yeah. mom <clears throat> was so instrumental in making so sure funny. that I kept myself together. Mm -hmm. And she told me every day, she was like, Hey, you gotta get up. She would come in my room and she would be like, You need it's time to wake up, mm -hmm. time to wake up, mm -hmm. and you need to put something on. Mm -hmm. And then if I would have a visitor, she would be like, Okay, make mm -hmm. sure you get it together. Mm -hmm. And just having that coaching mm -hmm. yeah. to be like, You're you're not the first woman to have a baby. No, you're not, you're not gonna be the last. You're not so the don't man. pull yourself down to the mm -hmm. level of yeah. I'm so depressed. That's why you have to wear bright colors. Mm -hmm. That's why yeah. you have to mm -hmm. get yourself up and going and find again those clothes mm -hmm. that are gonna help you to transition after exactly. the exhaust. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so the young people have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> the no, 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 no. Okay. I think no, no, no. Uh, I think you know. Young don't lose. Don't lose yourself. Mm -hmm. You become a mom. That doesn't mean that life stops. But mm -hmm. at the same time, mm -hmm. to my older, um, there is some level of modesty. Because for me, I have boys, right? So. I have to be the first impression of a woman that my boy sees. Mm -hmm. So that means I can't dress like I would dress when I'm younger. Mm -hmm. or go, There still has to be some tweaking. Like, there's little lives that depend on me to raise them, to mm -hmm. raise them in the right way. Mm -hmm. When they go out there, they're going to see all of that. I just think for me as mom, and what I mean is extreme. I'm mm -hmm. not talking about you know, having on tight clothes. I mean, the extreme, the extreme, extreme. Mm -hmm. um, but I think nowadays clothing is so translucent. It can go from one age all the way from 18 to another age, depending on how you wear it. So I think you have to do what's comfortable for you, but don't forget, your little ones are watching. Mm -hmm. And when they go out into that world, they're going to see all of that. Mm -hmm. So I, for me, a, a tad bit, a tad bit of modesty, not just Lego, mm -hmm. but still be able <laughs> to mm -hmm. be myself and have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Lego. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, your kids are so older. My kids are older, mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely did not lose myself. I lost myself. Oh, yeah. no, no. It didn't yeah. never cross my mind. Yeah. That I was gonna lose Katrina when I had children, because first of all, I didn't want any children. <laughs> oh, and you still so say that. I did not want any children, and when mm -hmm. I had them, I didn't. And my children yeah. know my truth, and they just mm -hmm. accept it. It's like, well, you know, she's different and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. they know my truth. I didn't want any, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I I had a great mother, so I was mm -hmm. able to draw from that. Yeah, mm -hmm. My mom was wild, fun, and all this stuff, but she did behave a certain way. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We didn't hear, and I grew up in a small town, so you didn't hear anything about my mom mm -hmm. in the streets because it's just the way she carried herself. Yeah. There's five of us, mm -hmm. and I think I kind of, carry that on with my children. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want people saying crazy stuff about me to my children mm -hmm. at school. So I don't really think my behavior changed. I don't really think my language changed. Mm -hmm. I was just like, mm-mm. And maybe because I had, like, you have your mom. When I had mm -hmm. my children, I had my mom, and mm -hmm. she me came too. to mm -hmm. help me. And, and I just, I just kind of kept moving because she yeah. was there. So I didn't feel the <laughs> burden and the weight mm -hmm. of having my first child mm -hmm. and then my second one it was just mm -hmm. easy for me but i always tell people mm -mm. I, I gotta go mm -hmm. what, what we doing and my friends say we well, want to go out to lunch girl yes, yes. where we going <laughs> no i think yeah. my, my, my uh -huh. mom played a very big role as well because she moved uh here when um, i was pregnant with my first and like i said i i had severe postpartum depression you know mm -hmm. the c-section was driving me crazy and mm -hmm. You look at your body, things change. So obviously, some people don't deal with postpartum depression, mm -hmm. but I dealt with it, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't. And you, my mom always used to tell me, first thing with my mom, mm -hmm. the rule is you never leave your bedroom without the bed spread. I think I've, mm -hmm. I've shared with mm -hmm. you guys. And the other thing is like, my daughter, you never leave the house without lipstick. It doesn't matter where you're going. You know, you have to wash yourself, <laughs> put mm -hmm. some lipstick on, and go out there, right? That's what she's always And my doing. mom with earrings. And yeah, you go outside with your earrings on, you thing. might get hit in the back yep. of the neck. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom was powdering your face. Yeah. You don't call some powder on your face. Yes. My mom was like, you're yes. real better. So she helped me oh a lot. Oh, my God. And 
With my first child, it was a learning experience where you're trying to kind of mm -hmm. know this little thing mm -hmm. and then, you know, you're trying to also find this is a new norm and you are trying to figure out you what, mm -hmm. so what, what's happening i have to be up feeding i have to be up doing this because you know nobody comes with the handbook mother who doesn't come with the handbook but with yeah. my second yeah. child babe i'll be breastfeeding in heels <laughs> <laughs> i'll wake up the first thing in the morning and take my shower the baby is up i have my lipstick on like mama told me and my yeah, is on. You are and like, so let's much. breastfeed and yes. i remember he would look in my eyes and i'm sure he was saying mommy you're the most beautiful woman on earth because oh, the aww. way he used to gaze at me with Girl, he was gazing on. at you like because you were feeding no, no, him no 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 listen yeah, because <laughs> listen the first time he saw me without eyebrows now let me tell you oh story. my god so the first time my son saw me without a wig and eyebrows, because I used to wear a wig in my young age, you know, so I have no wig, I have no eyebrows, and I remember him looking at me like, and he's trying to wonder, who is this? Because I know where my wig was on the uh. floor. So the older one was like, mommy, your hair is on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, but those are motherhood. I love but how to I, I've you enjoyed. <laughs> I've enjoyed. Ah. And with my third one, you know, you keep learning. With my third one, no, baby, it's fashion always. Six inch heels and baby is on the oh, side. Yeah. Come on. I, <laughs> went oh, to, uh, I went to a funeral. Silly. One of my mentors passed away the week before I was due to deliver, and um, her family asked me to speak at the funeral. And honey, I had my heels, I had my gown, mm. I had my hat, and I went to go and say with my piece. And the for dead my almost mentor. woke up. You have to show up. <laughs> you have to show up at all times. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what helps you to get through the postpartum depression. Because mm -hmm. I felt like I had a slight bout of it. And it kind of mm -hmm. came in waves for me. And the way that I got over it was just putting myself back together. And so mm -hmm. I think like you don't have to just become yeah. this, you know, docile mm -hmm. you don't, nun. Yeah. But you're right to the effect that you should. You know, mm -hmm. you got to make some we'll alterations. Yeah. You know, we'll I've definitely got to watch I'll the things off. that I say and the things I listen to. Of course. Because I'm, I've been a free spirit for 38 yeah. years, mm -hmm. and here she comes, mm -hmm. and now everything has changed, and I don't want her to pick up, you know, when yeah. I'm listening to Meg Style. You know, my baby can't listen. <laughs> <laughs> and she do that in the other room. Go somewhere. She's, she's, singing, room. She's, singing she's singing the, the entire room. song. Yeah, no. And no, Bob, she will be it. singing her ABCs before yeah, she knows the words of a Cardi B song. And I tell people that, too. Some people don't language. Some people didn't mm -hmm. have the pleasure of having that experience with their mom and mm -hmm. they had to find it on their own. Mm -hmm. So wherever you are, if you just had a baby, mm -hmm. if you're young and you have to figure life out, you have to work what works for you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's beautiful that you guys mm -hmm. had that experience. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have that experience. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. learned as I went. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't do is I wasn't hard on myself. Mm -hmm. I was kind to myself about it mm -hmm. going through that transition. Mm -hmm. Now with my second son, that's different. I had the support of everyone. Mm -hmm. But still in all, you have to do what works for you as a mom. But you don't have to be a nun. Don't lose yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't be a nun. Don't do that. Oh well, that's <laughs> all we have for today's show. I'm glad you guys joined us and I hope you join us back tomorrow. Remember to leave love, love and land and be kind. The world is already cruel. Bye y'all. It's all you